Freedom Flight kit, um, leading and trailing edge, edge parts installed in the jig. Pretty straightforward. There's glue on this surface, meaning that was flat down on the paper when it was constructed. So that is going to go up on the leading edge, and on the trailing edge, the shiny side is this side, so that's going to go down. So the two shiny sides are facing up and down away from the axle. So I'm going to bend this little piece of wood out of the way because the rod fits very close to that piece of wood and just kind of ease this trailing, inner trailing edge construction into the jig. And then I'm going to take an inch and a half long piece of the axle uh, housing tube and I'm going to just test fit to make sure I can find the hole in the jig and that works fine. Then I'm going to get this oriented correctly. I'm going to put the axle tube in the uh, leading edge structure most of the way and then I'm going to poke the axle housing tube into the inner trailing edge construction and then into the hole in the jig. Once that's done, I'm going to settle the inner trail of the leading edge structure down until the rods touch the top edge of the jig and then the next step will be to get the trailing edge rods taped in place where they need to go. Notice I'm holding on to the um, two because I don't want it to pop back out. All right. So the trailing edge rods then are going to be taped. Get away from there. Okay. There we go. Okay. On the where the jig shows a little line for their position. So I'm going to move that into position. Get a little bit of tape. And I'm going to tape it right there. Don't have to tape it down super hard. So each of the inner trailing edge parts are going to be taped down in a similar fashion.